Okay, and we're off. So we have here the Pixel 1. It's the same device as you can see in every single video. And I flashed Android N, Android O, Android P, and Android Q. And already we can see there a quick lead there by Android P 9.0, the third one along there. And now Android 8.1. This is going to be one of those races where it's neck and neck because we are dealing with the same hardware here in each particular case. And really, I'm not expecting big differences, but it will be interesting to see which one goes better. Now, it's definitely clear there that Android O 8.1 Oreo is certainly in the lead. It was the first into that bloom test there. What's going to happen now when we get to the next test? We'd like to see it. Oh, it's still taking the test there with the SQL Lite test. Though, let's see how they do with the speed. That seems It seems to be doing good. Android P looks to be pretty slow there. In fact, it was catching up there with a... And in fact, look at that. 7.1 is now gone in second place. And now Android P has come there. And Android Q way behind there. So look at that there. There does seem to be differences in the SQL like this across Android versions. So not only across OEMs, because we've seen this, different OEMs have different speeds for these tests, but also across Android versions on the same hardware from the same supplier. That is, for, of course, from Google. All the machines are now into the uh, 2D gaming test. And the first one now taking the lead into the 16th thread test was uh, Android N, that's 7.1.2. Now at this point, it's just worth talking about some of these versions of Android we have here in front of us Android uh, 7.1 uh, Android 7 in fact was released in 2016 so Android N in 2016 Android O in 2017 Android P in 2018 and of course we've just seen the beta of Android Q and the final release of that should come out in August of this year and now we can see Android N was first into the Unity test followed now by Android O and then I think Android Q and then Android P now what's interesting of course is that Android Q is beta so if this does perform a little bit slower, that's okay in my books because, of course, it's not the final release. Another few things worth mentioning, Android N included a better JIT compiler, so it should be uh, better than the previous version. It had a better DOS mode, and it was the first one to support the Vulkan 3D API. Of course... Uh, Android O was the first one to have Project Treble. We also had Picture in Picture and we had the Neural Network API added into Android O. Android P, of course, came with that uh, adaptive battery prediction technology, which was able to set uh, apps to sleep in the background, better to save the battery. And it also includes support for Vulkan 1.1. And Android Q, some of the new features there will be, of course, uh, the check for our permissions in the location uh, permission in the background. There's a depth camera API. And and there are some more improvements to the runtime library. Now, here we are in the final compression test. Which one is actually going to get there first? It is going to be very close here. We are dealing on the same hardware. And there it is. Android N with 200, 2 minutes and 50 seconds. Then Android P with 2 minutes and 52. Then Android Q and Android O with 2 minutes and 53 seconds each. So there you go. My name is Gary Sims. This is Gary Explains. Please do like and subscribe. Okay, I'll see you in the next one. All right.